Hey, we're back. Two, episode two. We made it for two. That's, that's pretty good. That's not giving up. So, uh, thanks everybody for the response to the last one. Glad everyone got their questions answered. I'm glad we have some <coughs> questions to address. So, we'll keep this one uh, short and sweet, straight to the point. So, uh, first up, Josh Mortensen uh, commented that, not really a question, but he never imagined we'd look like this. Uh, I know where we look good. I didn't I didn't expect to look this good in video either, so it's a surprise to both of us. But <clears throat> it's not to me. I'm yeah. I'm very used to it. Maybe a couple years ago you would have noticed that we would fit the part. We used to we used to have long hair. We used to wear metal shirts, but now you know we I, th I think everybody we grew up. We grew up, you know. I think everybody in the band has had flowing long hair at one time or the other. So uh a really good question was submitted by Mitchell Lucas, Justin Lucas's brother. Um, I'm glad he stopped by so everybody knows who he is now. It's sort of still in discussion, but ideally Lauren Guard would like to continue being an unsigned band. Uh, if we can afford to be independent and do what we want to do by ourselves, great. If there's a record label that comes along with a progressive deal, you know, not trying to take all our money away, but has a way to, hey, we want to help you guys out and push push your guys' stuff, help you do marketing and just Dist make sure distribution. distribution, yes. But, you know, right now we don't have any offers like that hanging over our heads, so we're just going to keep tracking on. But, um, you know, I'm comfortable with the independent route. We're doing pretty well. We have a good foundation. And uh, Lauren Guard is a very, we're kind of in the a good place to be do a do-it-yourself band. We have lots of talented guys in the band. That are good at different things besides just playing music. I mean, Brady wrote, wrote a, you know wrote a book. Um, we have I can't play drums, so I have to make up for it. Chris, Chris, Rob, and myself all have graphic experience. So does Raleigh. Um, I mean, everybody has ways to contribute to the band, doing everything ourselves. So we do what we can, but it would be nice to have extra help with the marketing because we're busy writing music and stuff like that. So yeah, we're not gonna give away our our souls to a record label just because it's a contract or hey, we're signed now. We don't care about that. We're more about just continue doing what we want to do and make the music we love. Uh, Depends on who you ask. Yeah, that's that, that's for member to member. But I can safely say, like we were the fan founding members of this band with Chris Cruz, and if. I, I I believe if there was no Rhapsody, there would be no Lauren Guard. It's uh, Rhapsody really tapped into a certain niche that I liked, and I didn't even know I liked until I found Rhapsody. And I don't like all their stuff. You know, I'm the first. I'm not like a crazy fanboy about them, but um, but yeah, I, I would not pursue this if it hadn't have been for Rhapsody to give me that first taste of what this could be like. So uh, yeah. Short answer: that Rhapsody played a large part in the influence of our music. Succinct from the beginning. So. He liked my Millennium Falcon t-shirt. Thank you. Yeah, well, to answer the question of what bands, albums you're listening to, I usually go in spurts. Um, haven't listened to a whole lot of new stuff lately. Um, stuck on my old Freedom Calls and my Falconers and stuff like that. But um, I have picked up the new Dragonland under the Grey Banner, and it is... Phenomenal, um, a good recommendation from the Blackwind Metal uh, review site. But yeah, that's one of my big ones right now. And uh, you listen, do you listen to music at all? Um, I'm always listening to a lot of Falconer. Um, Flight of the Concords. I listen to Flight of the Concords, yes. Um, pretty much anything that Brady has what is that I end up putting on my iTunes and listen to. Um, and to answer your other question, I'm still not burnt out of Evil Corruption. Um, I have I listen to it like every day, basically. It's in my car, and I listen to it all the time, and I'm yeah. still not sick of it. I guess one of the reasons we started our, this band was to have music that we could listen to and not get sick of, so that was our goal, and I think we accomplished that with this first album. So Yeah, it's still surprising that you figured you'd be burnt out of this kind of stuff, but um, it's actually really, uh, really scary thinking about our next album, because we have a lot to live up to, because in my mind, uh, Evil Corruption is... It's a lasting album, which is hard to do. It's hard to make one that stays with you and you don't get sick of it because, like Adam said, we listen to that crap every morning. We go to work and we have even corruption playing, and every time I hear it, it's like kind of still special. I don't know. And uh, I haven't got sick of it. I think this also goes back to what I mentioned in the last episode as well, that when you know the story behind the music, it kind of gives it more depth. And the more you listen to it, the more you find different aspects of what you like about it. 
And, uh... It's disgusting. It's I don't know what I was saying amazing. anymore, but... You like snot. You like music. Um... That's a bad cut. I think that covers it. So, uh, hopefully that answered everybody's questions and uh, we hope to do this again so please keep posting questions because that's the only thing we have to talk about because we're very boring people otherwise and uh we'll try to do an update next time of what's going on with the uh, album two progress how and, that goes and we might actually have a sneak peek at the novel cover because it is this close to being finalized Th- this this close to being finalized so uh we're just waiting on some map art because our wonderful singer Rob Graves, multi-talented Rob Graves, is going to be with his wife. With his wife, I think. I think so. I think they're both. I think it's a mutual endeavor, or taking care of the map art. Um, so they're bringing the Lorndale to life. So all of you can know where the hell everything is going on. Which we'll see how much it helps. But uh, yeah, until next time, get your everybody go buy the album, buy Eve Corruption, so we can make another album and buy my book. It's not available yet, but buy it anyway. Just send me money. We'll, 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 we'll figure out the details later. See ya!